Victoria Beckham wanted to do their new Netflix series to show her human side and to end decades of her burying everything. The new tell-all documentary has dragged up painful memories as the couple revisit some of their hardest times together, including receiving kidnap threats against their newborn son and being sent bullets through the post. It also go into details about their careers and what they went through when David was sent off in the World Cup back in 1998. Much of the focus is on David going on to turn his life around but Posh was reportedly the driving force behind the family agreeing to make the series, even if she found it difficult discussing certain parts of her private life. But she decided it was a great opportunity to show many had the wrong perception of her. It was a difficult decision for Victoria and David about whether to go ahead with the documentary or not, but for Victoria, it was a sort of therapy, a source told OK! Magazine. It was important for her to share her story, it wasn't about showing people how strong they were, but showing her human side. It was easier at times for David, but for her it was difficult to open up because she buries everything. They don't need the money, but this was important to Victoria for people to know the real her, and to know what they've been through as a family. If you can't see the poll, click here Victoria looked close to tears as she recalled some of the early days of her life with David. She was also clearly upset when discussing the moment a threat was made against their firstborn. We were getting kidnapping threats right from when we had Brooklyn, she revealed on the dock. I mean, you can't even explain how that feels, because we couldn't hide. These are things that, now it's coming back to me, I realize why I found it stressful doing these interviews because I've blocked so much of it out, and I think David has too. But now it's coming back to me. Imagine having a baby and having death threats. It wasn't the only moment they were left in fear. Victoria still hasn't forgiven those who tortured her husband back in 1998 following his infamous sending off against Argentina that contributed to England exit in France. The Manchester United star became one of the most hated men in Britain after being given his marching orders in saint Etienne. He received death threats, with an image of a Beckham effigy hanging in East London not far from his childhood home. Recalling the reaction back home, the former Spice Girl said Bex, who was just 23 at the time, didn't deserve what he was put through some 25 years ago. I mean, the absolute hate, the public bullying, to another level, she said. He was depressed, absolutely clinically depressed. I still want to kill these people. David said of the reaction to his red card, what I went through was so extreme. The whole country hated me. Hated me. It changed my life. I felt very vulnerable and alone. Wherever I went I got abused every single day. People look at you in a certain way, spit at you, abuse you, come up to your face and say some of the things that they said. That was difficult. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Just me